Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Dead Space. Uh, we've just finished refueling the engines, I'm just uh, clearing our stuff out uh, and we'll be able to uh, push on in just a moment. Uh, let's, let's think, if we sell the medium med pack we can get another power node, but that leaves us with just a small, which seems a bit, a bit risky. We'll get this uh, this one at least, and actually with uh, with two power nodes, it's worth us getting them stuck in. So if we if we head back downstairs, uh, we can get to that bench without any trouble, and then we can think about maybe topping up our stasis back at the centrifuge, and then pushing on. Yeah, it's a, it is a bit of a detour, but. It's going to give us the best chance of survival. Oh, unless we uh, we top up our stasis capacity. I don't know. I kind of want to be pushing the, uh, the plasma gun. I mean, it's good that we've done a little bit on the line rack itself, but... So into the bench, things that we could do. On the line gun, we could upgrade the mine. We're not using the mine, but it would allow us to do the width. We could also get more damage directly, which would then allow us to push around this way. Maybe. Uh, the plasma cutter itself. We can get to reload, that's about it. Rig, we can get nearly ready for more hit points. Kinesis module, that's just range. Stasis module. Yeah, we could get more energy or we could boost the duration and go and get. Go and get more energy. I think we'll do that. Okay, so boosting the duration of our stasis doesn't directly give us more stasis, um, but it just means that they'll be uh, slowed down for longer. So we are heading back to the centrifuge itself uh, just to get our stasis topped up again. I'm so glad that that thing is dead. So we're going to have to um, run in reverse for what we were doing, actually. Entering vacuum. We've got plenty of air, so I'm not worried about it. It would just be nice to be able to just jump across there, but that's that's not the case. Yeah, and running around that way is not going to work. Around we go. We could possibly do two in a single go, but I'm not convinced that we're fast enough. Extra air so we don't have to worry about it. The things we do to ensure our survival, eh? Okay, take me upstairs. There we go. Mission accomplished. This is the whole reason we came in here. second but I love how quiet it goes when uh, 
um, when you're in a vacuum. Like the the only sound is what's within the suit, which is exactly as it should be. And then the like gentle vibrations of stuff through the suit, because that would also count. Okay, back up. So full stasis. We are happy and ready to push on. Exiting vacuum. Go loads of time. As I've said in past episodes, one upgrade to air, that's all you really ever need. And even then, you might not need it. I like to have it because it buys me um, scratching my face time. But because we've cleared this area out, we can scooch on through and just use it to our advantage. Uh, not this way, it is back this way. And up in the lift again. One thing I will say about the Ishimura, it does need elevator music. Okay, that was uh, quite a significant detour. Uh, so we'll just resave so we don't have to do that again. And then we push on to the reactor itself. Ultra secure double door. Entering vacuum. Okay, I don't see anything else to grab. Entering zero gravity. Now we're in zero G. We can jump to the next section. Obviously want to keep our eyes peeled for the Ow! Did he just catch me on the way Exiting through? Zero gravity. Yeah, he did. And not only that, he's like properly on me and I can't retreat. Well, that was really painful. I mean, we definitely want to kill them. Where the hell are they? We might die doing this, but given the amount of health that we lost. There you are. Sometimes the reload is um, is pretty janky. Doesn't always well reload, but I think that is that area cleared out, so we can come back safely should we need to. Man, that cost us quite a lot in terms of ammo, which we didn't need it to, and a lot in terms of health. Isaac will be fine though. We'll just, you know, make sure we don't get hit again and eventually we'll upgrade our rig. This is super loud.
get away from the engine as quick as we can. Is this place kind of gooping everywhere? That is kind of gross. All right, in terms of actually being in here, it looks like we want to be heading down manually ignite the... Yeah, the spinning around sometimes gets a bit much. The mouse controls in this are absolutely terrible. It was a lot better on a controller. Myself. And with all the other shit going on, it's obvious this is sabotage. I'm heading for the bridge, and then I need to find Elizabeth. I gotta get her off this ship, it's not safe. Right, loot what we can in here. I think we're not gonna go any... Yeah, none of the other things are open. We're not gonna go into any of the corners specifically. Uh, I do want to check round to the other... Oh my god, can you just not spin, please? If anything's gonna get us killed, it's gonna be that. Power node in here. Let's have a read of the log. Corruption. Organic growth in engineering. The unidentified growth seen in other parts of the ship has now been... Uh, sorry, has now reached engineering. I don't know what the hell this stuff is. Looks like someone threw up their guts all over the walls, but it's spreading faster than we can cut it up. Which is pretty disgusting in itself. It's already in the engine spoke, and if we can't find a way to stop it soon, it'll hit the main chamber by the day after tomorrow. I hope the docks are looking into it, because it's way beyond me. Okay, power node, line racks. Definitely glad to have the extras. Ripper blades. Come on, just pick it up. There we go. I honestly thought there was going to be something murderous in the back as we came through here. Right. Back onto the way down, which is via this lift. I don't see anything specifically in there. That's a small med pack we'll have. I don't think there's anything around that corner, so it's not pushing too deep. You know what, maybe I should just keep aiming because it um, stops him rotating too quickly. damage my calm like that. Ooh, we are full. 
Da. Okay. We'll use one of our med kits because our inventory's full. Yeah, because of those ripper blades and other things. And we need to sell some stuff when we can. That doesn't go anywhere specific. There must be a stasis point down here. Maybe it's just in here. That is right. Or they give us a stasis pack. So we use another med kit. Oh good. Did they miss us? They did. Man, those crit is annoying. Almost as annoying as that whole spinning around. Right, is there anything else in here that we could care about? There's the stasis. Yeah, I should have just blatted them with a lot more stasis. Uh-oh. I should have stasis him again. And it's not that much of a surprise, but I did so many things badly wrong in that. I got impatient, I ran towards the door. Is that going to be a crash? I was just about to stasis. Sounds like it's carrying on. Alright, give me a moment and I'll figure out what's going on with this. Okay, it recovered and I think the, the engine got overloaded because the door sped up um, when the stasis ran out and it sliced the thing in two and I think there was just too much for it to visually render. So, grab that. And push on. Well, that was satisfying. Give you a flame canister, what do you do? You use a flame canister. Maybe not at close range, but... Was there any other pickups for us? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, seeing as we've made it 
down to the, uh, the base of the reactor. Let's uh, save before we head in and ignite the engine. I really like the power. Oh my god, that guy's huge. got enough of them that we can stamp on the remaining ones. <laughs> Trying desperately not to like just use all of our ammo on these but I think we're probably through the worst of it uh, let's check our inventory so we've still got two spaces left uh, I will use one of the med kits and I'm gonna switch back to the uh, plasma gun because we've got 24 spare shots with that Oh, extra meds. We'll loot the room properly before um, heading in to actually touch that uh, engine. Still got two bits of stasis left. I'd rather make sure I've got all the pickups first before we touch any buttons, because it's one of those rooms where it's set up that, you know, you touch a button and bad things happen. There's lots of vents everywhere. wasn't quite on the uh, on the ramp there good amount of plasma energy this will definitely help us out when start going wrong. I had a power node. You know what? I'm actually thinking that carrying some of these out into the main area is not just going to be smart, it's going to be vital. I want to space them out so when we inevitably blow one up, we don't blow them all up. That's pretty good. Okay, let's keep looking for any other pickups and then we'll push the button and start the apocalypse. Okay, I think that's actually everything we can do. Can you see? 
sequence initiated. Please stand by. Well. So much for not blowing them all up at once. Nah, this has gone badly. Okay. So I've got I've got alternative plans for how we'll we'll tackle that. It is gonna be quite similar, but I just need to be a lot more precise with what I'm doing. I'll have all of the explosives near me. And we'll set up a defensive perimeter. Oh, it's taking us all the way back here. Okay, that's fine. That is not working the way it was supposed to. It's supposed to be grabbing the blades off. This is not giving me the blades. efficient way of killing that guy without all the bits coming out the middle so we've got all the losing to do again unfortunately uh, I think next time I'll uh, go around and save after I've grabbed all these bits just in case things go wrong again because there's a lot of stuff to pick up actually don't have enough space for that. Uh, yeah, because we've got the, the semiconductor. That's fine. We might have enough space after the uh, after the fight. Put that one there. Actually, I'm going to put this one all the way over here. Right. Checking the room properly. Line gun is nicely reloaded. Right, I can't pick you up right now. At least I can put you in the middle for later. And that's fine. More line, Max. Definitely won't say no to those. Credits. Credits are cool. Already checked down here. So I think we're good to go. Okay, I said I was going to step out and save, so let's do that, just so we don't have to redo it.
this one will have sort of middling-ish. Come on, get a bit closer to this guy. Yep, gotta run. Confirm it in just a moment. Right. Got some bits to loot off around here. That wasn't terrible, but it certainly certainly wasn't as smooth as I would have liked. Saved. Like, actually, legitimately saved. It's working. We're online and functional. Finally, some good news. That is some good news. Get a transfer to the bridge, Isaac. I'm gonna take us back into a jail station. Wait, wait, we're not safe yet. Ship's asteroid defense system is offline. On the way up, the ship's going to pass through a debris field thrown up from the planet crack. We'll be ripped to pieces unless you restart it. God damn it. Oh. I'll start working on it from here. Isaac, meet me at the bridge. You can do more good here than I can. Yeah, it's always amazing how much this game is like, oh, Isaac, save us because, you know, we, we can't do anything by ourselves. Emergency supplies. Oh, small med kit can't carry it. If I drop that for a moment. There we go. Little bit of inventory juggling. I could have also left it there and then gone to the store and come back, but that takes a lot of time and effort. Isaac. Isaac. Where are you? It's me. Nicole. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, I know we're like here to try and save her, but random audio communications without like an actual communication. Definitely not good. Dead, dead? I think he's dead, dead. And I have one of your claws. Thank you. Hopefully won't need it, but... If 
one can come along, they can all come along. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay, looks like we're clear. And I think that's probably going to be a nice point to wrap up this video as well. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Dead Space. See you soon.